Today we going to learn this. Part 1 Reflection map and mask. Part 2 Background animation. Part 3 Animating reflection map. open adobe after effects as you can see i already had imported my logo and background video click on new composition rename it as main comp use hdtv 1080 preset and press okay now we need to create one more composition so go to at top and select new composition or control plus n Rename it as reflection map. Open reflection map. And right click on empty space and select new solid. Press okay. Now select solid layer and go to effect and preset tab. and type fractal noise and drag and drop this effect to our solid layer after that when you open effect control panel you will see fractal noise effect now we need to change some values follow steps on video We can change it later if we need. For now let's jump to next step. Open main comp and drag reflection map composition onto it. Now create another composition of logo. Repeat the same steps we did earlier. Open logo composition and drag your logo onto it. Only illustrator file or png will work in this project. If you have illustrator file, right click and convert into vector layer. It is not a necessary but it may useful later. Color doesn't matter here, so need to change color. Again drag logo composition to main comp. And move above to reflection map in layer sequence. and select reflection map and change trick mat value none to alpha mat now the logo behave as a mask and fill will be anything just below this in our case it is reflection map it already looking good but we need to add some more effects so that it will look more realistic go to effects and preset panel and search cc glass drag and drop the effect on reflection map composition Again type and search CC blob lies drag and drop this too Again we need to change some values as you can see on video
carefully follow video and see what look good to your project. When you happy with the values of respective effects, make a background. In my case I have downloaded free particles overlay. So I am going to use that. Scale it to fill completely on background. Now select both logo and reflection map comp. Right click and select pre-compose. Because we need to make glow and it's only work when it's merged together. At this point it is looking so boring. We going to add some animation onto it. First let's add scaling animation. For this I am going to create a null object. And parent our steel logo composition with it. Follow video if you are not aware about this function. And add scaling keyframes in the null object like I did. Carefully follow video. And we need a fade transition. So for that create rectangle. Double click on rectangle shape at the top. And change its color to black. And add opacity keyframes at starting as well as on ending. Carefully follow video. If you happy with this changes, let's duplicate the logo layer. We are going to make glow effect. After that search CC cross blur effect and drag on to one the logo layer. and change its mode to screen and decrease the opacity value. And make sure it will above the original layer. Finally you will see something like this. Hit play button and see preview. If everything look great we will jump to our next step. Open reflection map composition. And you can see there is nothing going on here. We need something to change that give realistic appearance to our logo. We going to add keyframes on evolution and offset turbulence. Follow steps carefully. Changing values is up to you because different logo behave differently. So use trial and error technique. I hope you understand everything in this tutorial. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. We'll see you on next tutorial. Bye.